Hi everyone, it's Andrea from Summit Valley Soap, and today I'm going to show you how I made this rustic cardinal soap. This is probably the most ambitious soap I've ever tried to make. I was inspired to do it after I saw Cheeky Goat Soapery's entry into the November Soap Clubs Challenge. Now they used a mosaic technique, which I did not for this soap. But the design element, the blue soap, the birch trees, the soap dough cardinals, that all came from her. And as I looked a little further, I found a similar soap in a totally different technique done by the Mad Soaper. And they were both beautiful, so I had to go ahead and try recreating this design for myself. Now this required me, for the first time ever, to use soap dough. I checked out Sorcery Soap Dough, as well as videos by I Dream in Soap. And what I learned is you can use your regular recipe and just turn it into soap dough. And that's what I decided to do. I needed red for my cardinals, so here I am mixing it up. This needs to come to a really thick trace which is ironic since I'm always trying to avoid thick trace and I found it very tedious and hard to get this to the thickness that I needed and after a while I just had to walk away from it and let it sit for a while. But ultimately once it got up to a thick enough trace I popped it into Tupperware, covered it in cling wrap and then I just let it sit for a couple days. And when you come back, if you're lucky, it'll be a Play-Doh consistency and you can use it to make embeds or shapes or whatever you need for your soap. And in this case, I was using it for cardinals. I don't have a ton of artistic talent, but I found it really fun to play with the dough. And I made these little stylized cardinals and I'm fairly proud of them. I think they look recognizable, which was my goal and uh, really all I could expect for a first time effort. But they were fun and I tried something new. With those done, it's time to make the birch trees. So for this, I'm using crackling birch from Nature's Garden. Little story about this, when I smelled it out of the bottle, I was pretty revolted. It smelled like very heavy, maybe 1970s men's cologne. But I'd heard good things and I tried it anyway and it ended up smelling amazing in the soap. In fact, next year at winter, I'm going to do a birch tree bark soap with this fragrance. That's how much I love it. I'm already planning a year ahead to use it. So now that I've got this batter to emulsification, I'm dividing it out into a small part and a large part. It does discolor to tan, so I'm adding titanium dioxide so I can get an off-white color and I'm going to pour the base. In the smaller portion, I've got some pre-mixed activated charcoal. I'm gonna add a little bit at first and I'm hoping to get a gray color. It's gonna look kind of green, but it ends up curing to a better color. And I'm just putting some stripes across here, adding more activated charcoal so that I have black. And now with my little metal tool here, I'm going through and just doing some back and forth movements. My batter was pretty thick. Ooh, and I got some extra, so I made samples here. But my batter was pretty thick, so I got a texture, which I ended up loving because it felt bumpy, kind of like, like bark. It really ended up looking a lot like a birch tree, I thought. And here it is the next day. I've sliced it into just some skinny, skinny tree trunks. And I wasn't sure of my design yet. So I'm just going through at this point and cutting it up into smaller pieces. I actually end up doing really short pieces eventually, but you get the idea. I'm just kind of making my, my birch trees. Now it's time to make the base. For this, I'm using a blue mica, ocean blue mica from Make Your Own Buzz or Chemistry Connection as they're also known. I did a heat transfer method, so there goes my liquid oil, a little titanium dioxide, and in it goes. 
I do think the crackling birch accelerates a little bit. It gets very thick very fast. And so this is me pushing in my, my little tree trunks and then using extra soap to kind of glue the cardinals on. And yes, you're seeing me not use gloves here. I do not recommend that, but I was really fumbling around with the tiny pieces and I ended up taking them off and just being as careful as I could. But again, I don't usually soap without gloves and I don't want you to think that I endorse that. Here we are, I'm gonna cut these up. Oh, it's so cute. It's rustic and bumpy and ridiculous, but I think it's adorable. Again, it's not something I'm ever going to make again, but I wanted to give it a try. And when you try new things, you learn all kinds of things, like the fact that you love a certain fragrance. And yeah, next year expect birch tree soap from me. I love the way these turned out. I probably not putting them up for sale as there's only these four, but I do sell my soaps. You can find me at Summit Valley Soap on Etsy. Also check out my Instagram, Facebook, and see all the content that I share on a regular basis. I really appreciate you stopping by here on my YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. And hey, I hope you have a great holiday season and a fantastic day. And try something new and different today. That's my challenge to you.